Simony. This video is for Sunday, June 6th, 2021. And yeah, it's me, Miss Kendra. Before we begin, super quick, exciting announcement. Be at Gethsemane Lutheran Church now have a VBS day. What? And guess what? It's going to be hybrid, outdoor, in person. Yay! I get to see lots of faces. Super duper exciting. It is going to be a weekend VBS. We're going to try that as well. See if that experiment works. Right now it is scheduled for Friday, July 9th, Saturday, July 10th with a quick Sunday celebration on Sunday, July 11th. Makeup rain date Monday, July 12th. Let's hope we don't have to use it. Yeah. If you cannot make it, I know a couple of our friends cannot um, due to vacations and such. That's cool. I tried my best getting everyone in there. If you can't or if you live out of town, no worries. I'm going to be making a small virtual packets for those that cannot make it during that time or maybe you can't make one of those days. So I'm going to be experimenting with that as well. So hopefully you can join us. It's called Anchors Away. Please watch your emails for more details. Oh! And I still need volunteers. So grown-ups, if you think that you can help or teenagers, please let me know. I can use all the help I can get for this. So anyway, that's my announcements for today. And oh, well, hey, sheeps, what's up? Today, I know I'm a couple weeks behind, but on May 23rd, we had Pentecost. So our lesson today is going to be on Pentecost. And Pentecost actually means... No sheepy. Oh my gosh. This is like the Pinto. It's not Pinto cost. Oh. Gosh, pinto beans don't even cost that much. It's Penta cost. Do you remember that from last year? Penta cost. Can you guys say Penta cost? That's right, sheeps. Penta cost, not Pinto cost, is the birth of the church is when the Holy Spirit came down and visited us. And actually for today, this is super exciting. Our very own Dr. Tim, our music director, actually uh, suggested this book. And so I'm super excited. Sheeps, do you think you can be a good listener? I'm going to assume that means yes. Um, but we're going to be reading the book that Dr. Tim suggested, and it is called The Day When God Made the Church. So I'm super excited to share this book with you, but it's all about the birthday of the church of Pentecost. And what you guys can do at home if you want, take some time today uh, to celebrate Pentecost. Maybe you've got, yeah, a little cupcake or you want to make some sort of snack or just sing happy birthday to the church. Yeah, I know you probably want cake. So anyway, here we go, friends. The day when God made the church. Are you ready, Sheepy? Uh, no. What do you mean? Big bag of candy! No, you say yes. Cake. <sighs> okay, I hope he's ready. I really, really hope. <clears throat> okay. Pentecost. We all gather and wait. Jesus is gone. And we are nervous. Everyone is curious to meet the one that Jesus would send us. Yeah, try not to be nervous, GP. Oh. The room is dark. Men, women, old people, young people, and animals wait. Wait for something to happen. Suddenly, the animals move with excitement. What's that noise? Oh my goodness. It grows louder. It feels like wind and it pounds like drum beats. It fills the room loud and full. Yeah! That's right, Sheepy. It's nice and loud. Then the room grows brighter. Something hot and blazing shines on us. Remember the little tongues of fire on our heads from last year? Darkness is gone. Fire fills the cold space. Now we feel warm inside our bodies. Smiles. What? I'm in the... Oh my gosh, no, no, you can't go to the bathroom. 
Now. now we're in the middle of a video. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Where were we? Okay, now we feel warm inside our body. Smiles paint our faces. We all know something. Oh my gosh. We all know so something new is happening. We feel our hearts change inside. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Where was I? Okay, anyway. Is this what Jesus promised? A new sound comes. Words. Words like raindrops fill across the room. And there's a, oh my gosh, that was water. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't for the toilet. Yeah. Does anyone want a sheep? No. Give them to you. Yeah. Some with loud sounds, some with quiet whispers. Words like drum beats tiptoe through the air. I love the illustrations with this. It's awesome. Can you make drum beats at home? People crowd around. They hear the words. They recognize the languages. Something new is happening. The Holy Spirit has arrived. Hooray! Yay! Everyone around me begins to ask questions. Who is this Holy Spirit? What is happening? Ooh. Super exciting. Why do we feel so different? Why do we hear so many different languages? You like, me gusta chocolate. You like chocolate in Spanish? Uh -huh. Yeah, different languages like that, right, Chibi? Oh my gosh. Peter stands. He walks around looking at each of us. I wonder, is he going to speak? Then Peter opens his mouth. He starts to preach. What a super exciting day. The, his powerful voice fills the spaces around us and between us. Friends, something new is happening. Jesus has given us a wonderful gift. Do you guys remember the gift last year? Yeah, super exciting. Don't be surprised if you all preach and start to dream too. Young and old, men and women, we are all called to something new. And notice it didn't just say grown-ups, guys. Kids as well. Ah. And I guess sheep. Yeah. God is changing us so that we can see old things in a new way. We all listen as Peter tells the story of God's love in Jesus. He reminds us all what Jesus taught us. We hear again how Jesus loves us. And I just love the illustrations in this book, this page in particular, just beautiful. We remember when Jesus healed our friends, told us stories and shared the good news. We talked about this a little bit ago, Easter. And we talked about this too. We listen as Peter describes the day, that horrible day when Jesus hung on the cross. And we remember how sad we were. I know, sheepy, it's okay. It is sad, but you know what? It's got a happy ending. Oh. Remember? Oh, yeah. The dark clouds covered the sky, the earth shook, and Jesus died for us. Oh. But our sadness did not last forever. Peter reminded us that soon there was joy, laughter, yeah. and dancing. Oh, yeah. That's right, Sheepy. Jesus came back to us. God raised him from the dead and gave us new life. We all hear the word Peter preaches and the Holy Spirit changes us. The rivers of baptism pour out like wonderful water and we feel God's wonderful love as the water pours upon us. <gasps> oh my gosh! God, the love for us, our family, our friends, and even people that are far away. People, people everywhere all hear this good news. We all begin 
this new life together. And I'm going to have to air out these pages because you got them all wet. We become a new family. We share our things. We break bread together and we worship God. This is what we call the day of Pentecost. Can you guys say Pentecost? Pentecost. That's right. The day when the church was born. Men, women, boys and girls, people from everywhere. We are all filled with the Holy Spirit as we worship Jesus, alive and risen. And can we all say together? Alleluia. Alleluia. That's right. So thanks again to Dr. Tim for recommending this awesome, awesome book. And thank you, Sheepy, for being with us today. Welcome. I want my cake now. You're not getting cake. Cake! All right. That's all I have for today. Let's end in a quick word of prayer. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for all these boys and girls and teens and even grown-ups that may be listening today out there. Lord, thank you for your birthday of Pentecost when you shared the Holy Spirit with us and that we could do all sorts of wonderful gifts to share the good news through you. Please help us to have a wonderful week. Help any boo-boos or injuries out there and uh, keep us safe as we may travel to vacations or different places this summer and bless our, our church as well. In your name we pray, amen. So that's all we have. Until next time, do well, be well, and peace out. See you later. Cake. No cake.